Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another Thorncraft 4.2 tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the arcane lamp and its little infusion things that you can do with it. This is a very, very uh, cool little piece of artifice in here and it's very, very useful uh, for sort of little bits of automated farming in a sense. Uh, so we're going to cover both of them today. So I've already showed you guys how to make the arcane lamp. Very, very simple stuff. Amber block, daylight sensor, night or two pieces of iron. Lovely. What you can also do with these is infuse them into two different kinds of lamps. You've got the lamp of growth and the lamp of fertility. You can probably guess what they do from their names. So the very first one we're going to look at, I've got it all set up here, is the fertility one. Uh, it's going to take two gold ingots, uh, two fire shards, one carrot, and one piece of wheat. Going to go like that. It's going to suck all the bits and pieces in. I don't think I have any beasts to lay down. No, I do not. <laughs> right, so let's quickly go like that. And beast. -er. There we go. Got some beast -er going on there now. Fantastic. It's doing a little bit of a warpy effect thing here. As expected, because I didn't put enough stuff on it. <laughs> uh, we lost our carrot. Right, let's put that back. Come on. Stop being silly. Okay, I know I forgot the beast there, but come on. Come on now. <laughs> right, okay. So, we're going to have a little bit of infuse here. Not going to take very long at all. Should be done fairly quickish. And then we'll cover over and we'll see what the lamp of, this lamp of fertility actually does. Let's just make sure it sucks everything in. There we go, we got ourselves a lamp of fertility. Cool. So let's have a check. Let's check this out in the book and we'll see what it says. So any living creature bathed in this gentle pink glow of this lamp is immediately placed in a much more romantic mood. If they're if they are able, they will seek out others of their kind to mate. This lamp will have no effect if there is eight or more of a particular species already present. It requires Victus Essentia to function which can be fed to the lamp by attaching it directly to an Essentia piping system. Um, so that is pretty cool. It's not overpowered, so it's not just going to automatically breed everything as long as you feed it Victus. There is a cap on it if there's eight or more of a particular thing. So as long as you've got like six in here, the way you can hook this up is have a little farm and sort of have like a load of cows and then half slabs. And then I'm pretty sure you've all see, seen like the sort of vanilla thing where you can have like your cows on one row like that and then have like some... I don't know. Let's see if we can find some half slabs here. Um, there. Half slab. Cool. Um, and then have it something like that. And then the cows wouldn't be able to get out. Uh, but the baby cows would fall right down underneath into your little trap system down there. Because they're only one block tall. Whereas the cows are one and a half. Maybe two. Uh, so you can have a little system like that. And then just put this on the side. Uh, but you need to feed it Victus, which is the main thing. So I've got two cows here. We're going to show you this here. Going to plop you down on top of there. And as you see, it has this little glowing effect. They're going to mate and they made a little baby cow. And they're going to keep going until there's eight in there. So cool, cool stuff. Really, really nifty. Like I said, if you fed it up to a system like this and it flushed away the babies and you had a couple of them in an array, I'm not sure the block radius on this. Um... But I'm sure you guys will figure it out. I mean, you can have like a little array of these and then just have like um, in the lamp sort of glow and then it'll breed and push the baby cows down. And yeah, and then you can just have like a little farm feeding off of Victor. So that'd be quite nifty to have indeed. Uh, so the next one I want to show you is the other one. It's going to be a very quick tutorial today. Just going to go over some basic bits and pieces and just sort of, you know, cover cover the basics of this without going too much in depth on it. And causing a like a 20 minute video whoops <laughs> whoops uh, let's just get rid of that real quick I'm not sure if that's gonna cause instability I don't think it should it shouldn't cause any instability but I'm not one to risk it so <laughs> right let's get like that oh no I need to put a lamp in the middle whoops totally forgot about the main the main part of this right place you in there and I should have enough stuff for the rest of this one. I did. I filled up for this one. I didn't fill up for the rest. No. Why are you so unstable? Right. Let's see if this block scrubber actually works. Then. Quite interesting to see if that works. 
It sounds like it's doing something. Pretty sure it has up to a 16 block radius, so it should work. Right, so it's going to suck all these items in here, as you would usually. Uh, it takes two gold, two earth shards, two bone meal, and it just takes a little bit of essentially nothing too terrible in there. And that gives you this beautiful green looking lamp. And then what this does is it speeds up the growth of things. So if we grab some seeds here and we chuck them down like so, and go like that. Uh, normally these would take a little bit of a while to grow, uh, but with the arcane lamp, you can uh, the lamp of growth, sorry, you can get rid of that. Place that in there, and these should start to sprout up. They're not going to be like immediate, and they're not going to jump straight up straight away, uh, but they will grow fairly quickly, or they at least should do. <laughs> Hmm. Let's grab these two off. Place that down there because I'm not sure if it has to be at the same level. I have a feeling for some reason that it might be. Yeah, there you go. You still that one pop up there. You get a couple more pop up. It's not going to like instant grow them, but it will speed the process up a fair amount. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a cap on this. I've been using it with sugarcane and it works very, very well. Uh, it says, unlike the arcane lamp from which it is made, the arcane the lamp of growth does not cast much light unless it's provided with herb essentia. If this is done, any plants which grow where its light shines the brightest will grow much faster than normal. Essentia can be fed into the lamp by attaching it directly to an essentia piping system. So it is growing a little bit faster than it normally would. Like I said, not overpowered, stupid amounts. But as you can see, it is sprouting up there a fair amount. And then if you had like a harvester or a golem set up to this and you just had this running... Um, you could, I think you could probably feed it off of this at some point. I can't remember. Off of Herba. Let's have a look there. Um, materials. There we go. Uh, we're going to grab a Thorn Mate. And we'll just see what this has got in it. See if you can actually feed this. I know you can feed it with sugarcane. Uh, that's what I've been using to feed mine. <laughs> yeah, you can feed it with that. But you can feed it with sugarcane. Uh, that's what I've been using mine for. I just run the sugarcane farm and have auto feed in there. Because sugarcane has herb in it. Which means you can just carry on powering the system over and over and over again. And really, really cool stuff like that. Uh, so that is all I wanted to cover. Just them two little infusion items there. Very, very cool nifty little items. And they do help you out quite a bit. So they definitely are worth looking into getting. Especially if you do a lot of farming and breeding. I mean, even this thing would breed them up for you automatically every 20 minutes or so. And you can come around and you'd be like, pa pa pa, I'll kill them. Put them in an auto system like that. Do whatever you want. It's going to help you out if you plan it in the right way and do it the right way. Also, there's golems that can deal with killing things but as you can see this is growing at quite a substantial rate a lot faster than it normally would uh, but that is all we've got time for for today so we haven't got like a huge amount left in the artifice tab we've got runic shielding that's gonna that's the video i'm dreading 100 percent um runic shielding i don't like getting into but i'm gonna get into it for you guys because you're awesome and i love you and i have to do this because it's a tutorial series but I will get there. Uh, Brunic Shield just does my head in. I, even trying to do it in survival is just a pain in the butt. Uh, but thank you guys again very much for watching. Have yourselves a very fantastic, wonderful day. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see all your beautiful faces in the next uh, video. Goodbye.